हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट अवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ सरफेस इट इज रिलेटेड टू पेंटागनल प्रिज्म एंड इन दिस केस वी विल अगेन यूज पैरालाइन मेथड एंड आई होप यू ऑल नो दैट वेन एवर वी हैव टू सॉल्व डेवलपमेंट ऑफ सरफेस फॉर सिलेंडर और प्रिज्म वी हैव टू फॉलो दिस मेथड कॉल्ड एज पैरालाइन मेथड एंड आई होप यू हैव वॉच्ड द प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑन सिलेंडर दैट इज डेवलपमेंट ऑफ सिलेंडर एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ ट्रंकेटेड सिलेंडर now let us read this question what he says the a pentagonal prism of base edge 20 mm and height 50 mm is resting on its base to develop its lateral surface so in this question also the very first step is we should draw the front view and top view of the given solid so if a pentagonal prism is resting on its base the top view of the prism will be a pentagon and the front view we will draw from this particular top view now over here i have already drawn the pentagon in order to save the time of this video if you don't know how to draw the pentagon then you can uh, see uh, the previous video uploaded by me on the pentagon and uh, i will leave i button also in this video at the top okay so after drawing the top of the given solid we will draw xy line because we believe that we are solving in first angular projection so call this is capital x capital y then from all the points of the pentagon take uh, vertical projectors in order to draw its front view remember these projectors must be very very thin from all the points of the pentagon take vertical projectors make sure all the lines are vertical now what we will do next we will use these projectors to draw the front view of the prism so leave one row gap from this particular row draw a thick line at the bottom so this is the base of the prism after that what we need to do we need to draw the height of this edge to 50 mm so line your scale on this particular generator and draw height to 50 mm so 50 mm will be somewhere over here so from this particular edge also 50 mm so join these two at the top to get the top face of the prism now we have to observe this top view or this particular position carefully see we are looking uh, at the prism from this side observer is standing this side so if you are uh, if you are looking at the prism from this side you can't see this particular edge of the prism so over here for this particular uh, projector we have to draw this edge as hidden in the front view so in order to draw the hidden edge we know that we have to use dash medium line and the ratio for it is that dash is of 3 mm and gap is of 1.5 mm so this is a dash medium line because this edge is hidden from this side these two edges will be visible so let us make uh, these projectors thick now what we need to do we have to label these edges now let us start from here in clockwise direction edge 1 edge 2 3 4 5 outside the pentagon means we are considering at the bottom so let us call this as edge 1 so this will be edge 5 this will be edge 2 this is edge 4 and this is edge 3 now in case of cylinder we did the calculation of circumference after drawing front and top in case of pentagonal prism we have to do the calculation for perimeter so perimeter do this calculation next to the top view because it has marks perimeter is equal to how many sides are there five sides are there and each side is of 20 mm it means total length of the development will be 100 mm now like cylinder over here now we have to draw a rectangular sheet of length 100 mm and height equal to height of the prism which is 50 mm so align your scale with this particular base of the prism and draw a thin projector towards right side over here as well thin projector towards right side then leave some gap from this particular front view let us start from this column and draw a thick line over here then from this edge draw a thick line of 100 mm because the length of the development sheet is 100 mm we have calculated in terms of perimeter so length is 100 it should be thick then join these two points now you see in case of cylinder what we did uh, let me show you 
that part also in case of cylinder we have divided this particular uh, sheet into eight equal parts because we have divided the circle into eight generators but in case of prisms we are not using generators we are uh, instead using the edges so how many edges are there in, th in this case five edges are there and each uh, side is of 20 millimeters it means we have to divide this sheet into five equal parts so this is of 100 millimeters uh, it means 100 divided by 5 each side is of 20 millimeters and 20 millimeter length you can easily mark with the help of your scale so it means what we have learned that uh, in case of prisms this particular step is not required this is only required in case of cylinders because in when we calculate circumference of cylinders we often get this length uh, in terms of uh, a value which will which is uh, in some decimals so in order to divide that length uh, it is not always possible that we can uh, use a scale so we have to follow this particular method to divide this length into some equal number of parts but in case of prism you will always get a value which you can easily measure with the help of scale you see 100 length we got uh, in this case and we have to make 5 uh, equal parts in this particular sheet so 100 divided by 5 each is of 20 so 20 you can easily measure on your scale so you can directly measure so no need to follow that method of cylinder for dividing this particular length now from these points what do you have to understand we have to draw thick lines remember in case of cylinder we kept these lines thin because uh, we called these lines generators and generators are imaginary lines so in cylinder these lines will remain thin but in case of prism these lines will be thick because these are not generators these are real edges of the prism so we have to make these lines thick so this is the main difference between the development of cylinder and prism fine so this you should keep in your mind now let us open this prism from edge 1 call this as first edge second edge third edge fourth edge fifth and of course we are start we have started from one so we will end at one one again so this is the final answer for this particular question so what we need to do we need to place dimensions so over here uh, let us quickly place its uh, height dimension height is given as 50 millimeter millimeters and let us place the uh, length for its side side is 25 millimeters mentioned then let us place for its perimeter perimeter is mentioned as we have calculated it as 100 millimeters and you can show uh, one part length also that uh, it is of 20 millimeters so I hope the development of uh, pentagonal prism is uh, clear to you. Same steps will be applicable for any other type of prism. So shape may change. It may be a square prism, it may be a triangular prism or it may be a hexagonal prism but same steps you have to follow. And one more thing to understand when you draw the top view of uh, the prism you must analyze that when you look from this side how many edges will be visible to you and how many edges will be hidden to you. Okay, thank you very much.